friends welcome to quick anatomy revision i am dr poonam khar what is wrist drop it is a medical condition in which the wrist and the fingers at the metacarpophalangeal joints they cannot be extended the wrist remains partially flexed due to action of flexor muscles of the forearm what is the cause of wrist drop the cause is injury to the radial nerve which results in paralysis of extensor muscles of the wrist let us look at the sites of the injury of radial nerve the sites can be at two places first is in the axilla and second is in the arm in the axilla there could be two reasons the first is due to the pressure of upper end of badly fitting crutches and this is known as crutch palsy second reason could be that after heavy drinking drunkard may fall asleep with the arm pressing over the back of the chair and the axilla comes in contact with the upper end of the chair this is known as saturday night palsy because earlier usually people used to drink on weekends that is on saturdays the second site is in the arm and this is usually due to the fracture of the shaft of humerus involving the spiral groove and the radial nerve runs in the spiral groove which is located on the posterior aspect of the humerus let us briefly consider the muscles that are supplied by radial nerve because these are the muscles that will be affected or paralyzed radial nerve supplies all the muscles of the extensor compartment of arm and forearm these muscles they act as extensors at the elbow joint wrist joint and metacarpophalangeal joints as well as at interphalangeal joints but the interphalangeal joint extension is also held by lumbricals and interossei muscles which are not supplied by radial nerve so extension of interphalangeal joints will not be affected by the lesion of radial nerve the radial nerve lesion is going to affect only the extension of elbow joint wrist joint and metacarpophalangeal joint depending upon the site of the lesion let us now see the difference between the effects of injury to radial nerve at axilla and at arm if the injury to radial nerve occurs in the axilla then there will be loss of extension at elbow joint this will occur due to paralysis of triceps muscle which is responsible for extension at elbow joint there will be also wrist drop and loss of extension at metacarpophalangeal joints of digits and this will be due to paralysis of extensors of wrist as well as of the digits when there is lesion of radial nerve in the spiral groove which occurs as a result of mid shaft fracture of humerus then there will be wrist drop and loss of extension at metacarpophalangeal joints of digits however there will be no loss of extension at elbow joint extension at elbow joint will be possible this happens because the branches of radial nerve to long and medial heads of triceps they arise when the radial nerve runs in the axilla that is proximal to the site of lesion before the site of lesion thanks for listening You can also visit my website anatomyqa.com for further details on radial nerve. I'll put the link of my website in the description.